Two decades ago, world leaders created a new way to fight climate change by hitting where it hurts most, money. As per this new idea, you would need carbon credits to add to the pollution on the planet and you could earn these credits by doing something good like planting trees or converting to solar. And if you're not up to making these changes, you could buy credits from someone else who is. The system makes polluting expensive and going green lucrative. In theory, it all sounded great, but in reality, it was not. In fact, it's just become a money-making racket instead of doing the one thing that it was meant to do cut carbon emissions. Here's an example. Rice husk has been used as a natural fertilizer for generations in Thailand. While this was green, it was not profitable. Now it's burned to generate renewable energy by this Thai company who is making money off the carbon credits they earn by going green. Meanwhile, chemical replacements are destroying the earth. Some sectors are even increasing their carbon footprints to collect credits. Typically, logging companies cut forests in batches, making money off one part while the rest grows back. As a result, a lot of the forest would always be intact. Now they can make money off the entire forest in one go and live off carbon credits from the trees they would have planted anyway. As a result, the total profit of the logging industry goes up, but the total number of trees to absorb carbon goes down. In the marketplace of carbon credits, a key criteria is additionality, implying that companies should be going over and above what they already do to earn a credit. This has been completely ignored. According to one study, 73% of the offsets generated weren't additional at all. It was stuff companies were doing anyway. Thanks to all of this, the carbon market has actually increased emissions by 600 million tons. For carbon credits to really work, we need a regulatory body with a detailed understanding of different industries and technologies which would give credits only to companies that genuinely deserve them. But such a body would be hard to assemble. Instead, levying a carbon tax, a direct deterrent to the thing that requires regulating, seems like a much better option.